Hey guys, what's up? It's Maisie with Barbecue by Maisie. If you're new here, thank you so much for checking out my channel. And if you're coming back, I truly appreciate the support. Please consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you're notified of all future videos. On my channel, I like to show you how easy it is to use a smoker and make super delicious recipes that your whole family will enjoy. But today we are not cooking. I am going to be doing a review of the new Pit Boss Brunswick. I wanted to do a couple cooks on it before I gave you a complete review. I've had the chance to do that, so now I want to show you all about the smoker. If you're thinking about buying it and I don't cover something that you're interested in, please let me know and I'll do my best to answer your question. But to start off, the Brunswick does have a cover. It is sold separately, so you'll want to make sure that you have a way to cover it or you buy the cover. This is a well-made cover. It's got a zipper here on the side and we've had some pretty rough weather here in Utah since I've gotten it. It's never blown away or anything like that. And it's completely protected the smoker from all snow and water. So. Let's go ahead and get it taken off so we can check out the smoker. Okay, so I've gotten a lot of questions about the Brunswick. Um, they want to know if I like the new controller, the size of the smoker, how I think it's built. Um, so I am going to cover all of those things. I think I'm going to touch on the most is the cook space because that seems to be what everyone is most interested in. It does have the new Pit Boss controller that is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capable. I have heard complaints of people's phones not connecting to their grills. I have a KC combo and um, the Brunswick. I also have the new controller on my Austin XL. All of them connect just fine to the app, so I'm not sure if it's a difference in Wi-Fi or phone. I have a new Samsung, um, so mine works just fine. It connects to all of them and works the way it should. So if you're interested in that, there is a plus here with having that um, capability with your controller. Okay, so let's dive right in and take a closer look at this grill. Like I said, I have done a couple cooks on it, so I am just going to quickly show you the inside. This is the cooking chamber. All right, right here we have got our water pan and then a heat deflector shield, which is also where the fat from your cook is going to drop. This is different from their old model and it is an upgrade. So basically your fat is going to hit this shield and it's going to, it's slightly slanted towards the back. So it's going to go to the back to, and there is a tray in the very back back there. Now we're in the back of the smoker. Once the fat is in the drips down, it's going to drip into your grease tray. I haven't cooked anything super fatty, so mine is empty, but that's where you would clean it out. I like how there's not a bucket hanging either. It just slides right in nicely here in the back. When I first got the smoker put together, I was a little concerned about this right here. So your burn pot is inside of here, but you can't access it because there are screws on it. So <laughs> I'm used to vacuuming out my burn pot and having access to it, but on this smoker, you essentially have no access to it unless you undo those screws. However, there is this ash clean out tray, which I will show you it just slides right into the bottom here and I haven't emptied mine. So this is from about three or four cooks that I did. So that is super easy. You're just going to dump this, put it back in and you've cleaned out your ashes. Now let me show you something that's a bit of a problem. There is some resistance in trying to get this tray back in. Right here, the heat has warped the metal. I had a really difficult time getting this tray out just to do this video. So I wanna show you up close. Right here, this metal has warped. And I'm assuming it's because it's so close to that burn pot. So, Grill Sergeant did a video on how he um, fixed this problem. I'm going to link his video in the description so that you can see what he did to fix it. I'm pushing pretty hard, there we go. So really have to give it a good tug to get it out, but um, it does come out. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's a lot of that's what she said jokes in there, but we're just gonna continue on. All right, 
So as far as cleaning it goes, because I think cleaning your smoker is super important to it functioning properly. So I really wanted to make sure that I can could still keep it clean without having access to my burn pot. It's actually easier to clean than the other grills because you don't need a shop back anymore. You just pull that ashtray out and then you're just going to want to keep this tray clean um, and you're going to empty your um, grease bucket on the back. So the cleaning of this smoker, honestly, I'm pretty impressed with. It's going to be pretty easy. Okay, so moving on from cleaning to the cooking space. The Brunswick has four shelves. One, two, three, and then there's one right ab above the heat deflector plate. There is a difference in the shelves compared to the older Pit Boss vertical models in that your shelves have four designated spots that they can go into. In the previous models, you could move the shelves and put them in any position you wanted. So I'm going to stand back so you can see where all four are. They're spaced well, but you cannot move those. Common question I got is the size of the shelves. So from the back of the smoker to the end of the shelf, we're at about 13 and a quarter. The shelf size itself is just a little under 13 inches. Now across, it is 22 inches in length. So do with that information what you will. So we're at about 13 by 22. I always get the question of like how many racks of ribs, how many pork butts, so I am going to show you. All right, I've just got some frozen meat I had in my freezer. So I've got a rack of St. Louis style ribs here. It's a pretty good size rack of ribs, about three and a half pounds. So it's not going to fit lengthwise on the smoker. I'm going to have to put them that way, which is fine. And I have two racks of baby backs. These are almost three pounds a piece. So lengthwise, these are just a little bit too long to fit on the smoker. Um, we'll just lay those on like that. So it looks like two racks are going to fit comfortably on each rack. You could, you know, always have stand them up this way. You take these shelves out and hang them in there. And then I have got, I'm gonna move these. I have got a pork butt here. This is a almost seven pound pork butt. Plenty of space for those. You could fit quite a few on there. Um, I would say at least three per shelf. If you turned them this way, I think you could double them up and even get more. So plenty of space as far as that goes. I wish I had a brisket in the freezer, um, but I believe a brisket is going to fit just fine on here. Remember it's 22 inches. And so that's not going to be a problem at all. So now I'm just standing here daydreaming about loading this smoker up with meat, but I really don't think you're going to have any problems fitting whatever you're going to need to for a cook on there. Remember the racks, you can remove the racks. So if you wanted to, um, I had someone ask if they could hang ribs in here. You could just remove those three racks and hang your ribs. Um, you're going to be able to do tons of jerky. They don't think you're going to have any problems as far as space goes. Now I get asked a lot, would I rather have something like the Brunswick, a vertical smoker, or like the Austin XL, or I have the KC combo here, which one would I prefer? So I just think there are pros and cons to each of them. For instance, if I'm doing a pork butt, I would choose to put it on the Brunswick. On the KC combo, your fire pot is right there in the middle. It's hard to get that meat up and away from it. I really enjoy baking in the smoker and doing it on the vertical gives it a much more even and cook it really is like your oven but you're getting that smoke flavor so if you're interested in doing things like that i think the vertical is a good way to go but i also love a good reverse seared steak and so i save that for you know the casey combo so i guess in a perfect world you would just have both
that's my answer. If you need to tell your spouse that Maisie said to get both, go ahead, because I really think you do. So we have talked about the cooking space and how to clean your grill. Um, up here, like I said, is the controller, and this also opens up, and you have got storage inside of here. So you will get two probes with this smoker, and you're going to plug them in right here. There is also a little hole right here on the side. When you are cooking something, you can plug it in here, um, have your cord come down through here, and then just through the doors, close your doors and right into your meat. So if you use the Pit Boss probes, you're going to be able to have your probe temperature here and here, probe one, probe two, it will show on your grill, but also when you connect it with the app, you'll be able to monitor the temperature of your meat from your phone. Here is the power button. There is a light on the inside. The light is just right here. This is how you're going to adjust your temperature. This is where your temperature will show. This is if your auger is spinning, that will be on. And this indicates if your igniter is on, the fan, and it also alerts you if there are no pellets. If you ever have this light on, shame on you. <laughs> Okay, you should never run out of pellets because this smoker holds 98 pounds of pellets. And you have a little pellet window here. I'm about less than halfway full. Um, you're going to put your pellets in right here. That just opens up. You're gonna pour them in here. And they're just gonna drop down. If you want to change your pellets once you get them in there, there is a little door here that you're just going to open it up and that just goes to the right and to the inside of all your pellets and um, you can just empty those out and change your flavor there. As far as the smoke goes, I want to show you how the smoker works. Right here along the sides, you're going to see these little holes down there. That is where your smoke is coming out. Since your um, fire pot here is just completely enclosed. Your smoke is going up the sides and being distrib distributed on each cooking space here. So they're on the side and then also in the back. You can see them there in the back. So I thought that was pretty cool. I think that's really well designed and well thought out. I'm going to interject and apologize for my heavy breathing. Um, this is just a lot of work, you guys. Just doing it for the people. Okay, so when I put this together, there's a video um, of me putting it together if you're interested in that. But I do just want to comment on how well built it is. The metal and everything seems very durable. Um, if you're familiar with the older smokers, the wheels are very small. These are much bigger. So that's just something to note. Okay, what do you guys wanna see next? I wanna show you everything. Let me show you the doors. These doors I really like. Um, this side, the knob doesn't twist, but it magnetizes. And then this one, you've got these little metal prongs that come from the top and bottom and the lock. So it just locks in like that. And it's, you can tell it's, it's sealed really well. So, and, got, and it just looks cool. The last thing I want to mention is that this smoker was honestly pretty easy to put together. You may new, need two people to assemble it just because it's kind of heavy to stand it up. But other than that, it was super easy to put together. Most of it's already put together. It's just putting on things like the legs, um, the handles and things like that. So there really wasn't much to it. If you saw my previous video about having issues with the auger fan, Pit Boss gave me a um, long-term solution to fix the fan. They did help me with that and I'm super happy with it. If you're having a the same issue, let me know and I will um, kind of walk you through what they told me to do to fix it. I hope I covered everything that you need to know about the new Brunswick smoker. If you're considering buying it, I know it's a big deal to make a purchase. So if you have any questions, please let me know and I will do my best to answer those questions. I truly appreciate you checking out this video and stopping by my channel. Please consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you're notified of all future videos. This is just something I do for fun to get a few minutes away from the kids. So each subscriber truly means so much to me. You guys have a great rest of your day and until next time, see ya. Dun, 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 dun.